Mr. Beagley! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gear Beagley with another episode of Gaming with Gear Beagley, and I'm once again playing the horrifying game Blank Dream, and I know that it's been about a month since I played this, and once again, as I say at the beginning of every series that I've let go for a while, I'm very, very sorry. Things have been super hectic at work. If it was up to me, I would just mass record this game and upload it all the time, like every single day, and we get through it, but unfortunately that's not the reality of my situation right now, so you guys have to wait as long as I do, which really sucks because I was really looking forward to playing this game and keeping the momentum going. Anyway, so last episode we had our main sh uh, main Shiro. I almost called her main Shiro because her name is Mashiro, but our main character Mashiro got to uh, get attacked by a tree. She met Yuzu and Ryotaro, I believe the dude's name was, and uh, we also got killed by the chandelier. It's really crazy that you can get killed in a save room, but if you step on that blood spot, that chandelier will fall and crush you. So now we're in this creepy ass room with this guy, the shadow figure. So let's talk to him. A wave. A rising wave of artistry stirs within me. My arm is a divine tool, creating life with brush and paint. It is my duty to paint life's beauty on the white surface. Someone, anyone will do. Bring me paint, the root of life, to me. Oh boy. Okay, so I hope that guy doesn't end up killing us. What is this thing? Uh, stepping on anything in this game is really a deadly idea. So we have all these rooms we can choose to go in to. Oh boy. So more puzzles, I'm assuming. For those of you who don't remember, this game is very similar to The Witch's House, which is a crazy creepy game. What's this? Alright, oh. I should probably read this plaque first. Choose wisely. Alright, so there's a blood stain there. Probably don't want to go that way. Um, there's no blood stain this way, so I guess we... Okay! <laughs> Off to a great start already. We're freaking dead. Alright, so let's try this again, and I'm going to go against all of my instincts and go towards the blood stain to get or not what the fuck like how are you supposed to get by that you have to get like a shield or something i have no idea i guess we're gonna try something else guys okay maybe we have to like run by it i don't know if we have to like run i have, I have no idea what we're supposed to do here there's nothing on the dilapidated shelves okay the closet is tightly shut is there anything over here i can use the sooty box is empty all right good how about over here Oh. Oh. Oh, this is a different path. We can totally take this path. Ooh, ah. God damn it. Jump scares, guys. I swear. The decor of shield is smashed. Good. Why? What is with this game and crushing shields in front of me? I don't like it. All right. Many broken and dirty bottles line the shelves, but there's just one clean one. Okay. I guess we'll take that. Took the not-so-dirty bottle and wiped the dust. Got an empty bottle. Now something spooky is probably going to happen, so we should probably get the hell out of here. Oh, God. I hate the sound design in this game. Like, I love the sound design in this game because it's really good, but good god is this game frightening as hell. Alright, cool. So we got a dusty, musty, plusty bottle, so let's go ahead and save over this save file. And once again, I am going to keep those multiple save files. I'm probably going to just keep four of them, but that way if we have to back up and do something differently, then we can do so. Alright, so, oh god, long corridor. Never a good sign. Get ready to run. Oh god, it's a painting. Oh good, because... In every game that there's paintings that's a horror game, it's always a good thing, you know? I am the living painting, Julia Maria. I can speak, and blood even runs through me. That hardly holds any meaning in this lonely place, but at least stay with me for a bit, dear. Oh, God. Okay, can we... What do we do? Uh, are we supposed to do something? Can we give her the empty bottle? Here, take that. No? Okay. All right, so... Uh-oh. Oh. I did accidentally select. I did not mean to select the knife. I cut the painting with a knife. Oh fuck! I think I fucked up. Oh my god. You, you. How could you? For what? Red drips pour out from the painting. Do we get this with the bottle? What? I, I, do we finish her off with the knife? I don't know what to do here, guys. I guess the. Can we try the bottle? We sure collected the painting's blood in the empty bottle. Oh good. Oh, you know what? That guy did ask for paint. I wonder if this counts as paint. All right, got red paint. D don't try to tell me you did this for that. Oh, the painting fell silent. She's going to fucking kill us. We should run. Oh, okay, run. Oh, no. Okay, we got to run. 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 Oh, dick. Okay, we got to run. We got to run. Okay, save, 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 save. Oh, <laughs> Okay. 
so we got the red paint. God, I forgot about the intensity of the jump scares in this game. This is, uh... Oh boy, I'm not happy to be back at this. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy watching me get freaked out. Okay, so we got red paint. Here, take this. Oh, oh, that is red paint. The red paint was sna- Oh, the red paint was snatched away. Good, good, but not yet. I lack the colors for full expression. Don't tell me there's more paint, man. Do I have to stab more stuff? More, more. Bring more paint. The root of life. Okay. I need to stab more stuff, I guess. Let's save again, because, you know, why not? Oh boy, so we got rid of those rooms. That's always fun. Oh god, what the hell is this? What is this? Oh. What the fudge is that? Hello? Shadow person? Oh god, is she coming down here? Hello? Oh my god, this is creepy. Ah! It's creepy as fuck. Please don't catch me. Oh shit, fuck! Oh god, oh. oh! What the fuck, is she coming? Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. The shelves only have broken and dirty bottles. There's nothing on the dilapidated shelves. Okay, what's this? One of the snacks contains a bottle of something blue. Or snacks? I said snacks. It's a sack. That's how freaked out I am. Reached in the bag and took out a bottle of liquid. Blue paint. Good. Who are you? Get out of here. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Fuck you. Oh, God. Oh, fuck you. 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 Oh, my God. Oh. Oh my god, okay, sorry if I blew out everybody's eardrums, but this is a necessary part of all these games. I just... Oh my god, let me catch my breath for a second. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> so we got two paints. I don't even know if that... I'm assuming that's what we had to do there, because we got some paint, but... Good god, it does not give you very much instruction as far as what to do. I was just ready to run the whole time, and it ended up working out for me. Alright, here, take this blue paint, dick. Oh, oh, that is blue paint. The blue paint was sna- or the blue paint was- I do that every time, you know? He needs to stop cutting off his sentences. Good, good, but not yet. I lack the colors for full expression. Yeah, okay, you need more frickin' root of life bullshit. How about you do it, man? You're back here already. Like, I'm sure the other shadow people won't mind you. Frickin' douchebag. Alright, let's see. What's up here? Hello. What's this thing? The container is full of ordinary water-like liquid. Okay. Well, I don't have anything to grab that with, so... Apparently, I gave the jar to the guy. Alright, interesting. Fireplace quietly lights up the room. There's a knife or a lantern. Can I use my lantern? Relight it or something? The stone statue quietly looms. Okay. Cool. Alright. I guess that's for a later puzzle. That's fine. Ooh, that's a blood stain. Uh, am I gonna die? The stone statue quietly looms. Why do you, all of you quietly loom? Clean up after yourself, okay. Be not greedy. I think I can do those things. Alright, what's in here? The city box contains an old plank. Uh, how about in here? Empty. And empty, okay. So, I guess we'll take it. It's heavy but not impossible to carry. Alright, cool. So now we can go over here and... What the... What the fuck happened? I just fell through the floor there. Okay, so we don't want to go that way, apparently, because that is the worst board to stand on. Let's try again. All right, so it's going to be one of those episodes where I just die over and over and over again, and it's just going to be an amazing death montage for you guys to watch and me freaking out at jump scares. So uh, I hope that's what you guys were looking forward to, because that's all the series is going to be, apparently. All right, I guess we'll take this plank. Yay. Can we set it here at the gap? There's no way across. Yes, cool, okay. All right, cool. All right. Oh. The fuck? Oh, man, there's like a freaking crack in it now. All right, be not greedy means probably not take these amazing Fort Knox gold bars that are just hanging out here. All right, many broken and dirty bottles line the shelves, but there's just one clean one. Okay. I took the not-so-dirty bottle. Awesome. I'll take that and go. Oh, that's bad. All right. I said clean up after yourself. Do we clean the blood somehow? Or Uh-oh. Okay. Again. I swear, I've died like every freaking way you can possibly die in this goddamn game already. It's uh, like, what the hell? Okay, so, alright, let's put the wood plank down, go across, we can take a bottle, and then we'll take the bottle here, and then, oh, man. 
Can we pick this back up or something? Oh, we can. Okay, so I bet we have to put this... I bet it's like the axe puzzle. Excuse me, guys, I got the burpees because I'm getting so nervous. I bet, like the axe puzzle, I just got to put this back here. There we go. Yeah, put it in the middle box. And then, can we... Oh, oh, we made it. Okay, run, 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 run. Just in case something's coming, which it could be. All right. Cool, so we have a bottle now, which is good. I wonder what's down in here. What's this one, this puzzle? Oh, hello, teddy bear again. Didn't we see that teddy bear before in, like, that weird, crazy maze? The teddy bear stares with round eyes. Cute. It is cute. All right, there's a lever on the wall. Uh, sure, pull it. Okay, good. Distant sound. I hope that was a good distant sound. I wonder what the significance of that teddy bear is. I am going to, like, accidentally run into that blood spot underneath the chandelier and kill myself accidentally. That would be terrible. All right. So, let's, uh, I guess we can take the jar here. And then... Ah, we got some water. And then I bet we put it on the fire. And then... Yeah? Poured water on the fire. Okay, good. And the room fell into darkness. Not good. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Run, run. Oh, what's happening? Did I do okay? Was I supposed to... Am I supposed to go back in there or something? Is there something I missed? What was the point of putting out the fire? I don't know what the point was. All right, let's, uh, let's save just in case... God. All right, can we go in here? Liquid in the containers increased viscosity. Dark room, something. Oh God, the, the statues are closing in. That, that was black paint. Why was that black paint? Oh my God. Oh my God, guys, this game's gonna freaking kill me. Like this is, I'm not even joking. I don't like jump scares. This is taking like, this is taking like at least ten years off my life. This is not. Oh my God. Why was that black paint? Was it because it was like the... Uh, I don't even know. I don't know why that was black paint at all. There's, I guess, maybe at the bottom of the water basin, it was black paint hidden underneath the water. Like, it was more dense, so it was at the bottom. I, I have no idea. I don't, I'm not going to question the logic, because now we have the black paint for this dude. Okay, here you go, man. Here's your creepy-ass paint, you douche. Yes, yes. With this paint alone, I can create life. With my arm, my brush... I shall demonstrate the secrets of the divine. Okay, whatever you say, dude. B -b -b Behold, this is my art, the child I have birthed. That doesn't look like a good painting. I'm sorry, sir. Perhaps I have no regrets now. Gods, demons, take this rotten soul as food for art. Oh, oh okay. You turned into gooey bloodstain. So did your painting. That's a waste of painting talent. Ooh, it's goopy. <coughs> Fudging balls, come on, man. I don't know why I had to do that. Oh, man. Okay, I bet there's a mirror in here. Let's save again. Let's save over this one. Oh, there is a mirror in here. Cool. Oh, my God, guys. Seriously, I'm not having a good time. Holy shit. This game's really well done, though. Like I said, this reminds me a lot of The Witch's House. This jolts me just as freaking much. I don't know what that said. It said something or other. Some... something. You guys can pause the video and read it yourselves. Hey, Mashiro. Welcome to my atelier. Oh, yeah, it's that guy. Um, I'm trying to remember his name. God damn it. Uh, remind me in the comments, guys. I'll probably look it up after this video anyway. But I'm very, very sorry I forgot a character's name. That's very unlike me. Um, atelier? It's just a shack that you've decided is yours. Come on. Of course I'll leave it. Or, I'll leave if any manager type come along and tell me to. Oh, this is the guy who was in the previous mirror dream thing. When she jumped into the lake, he was trying to talk her out of jumping into the lake, and he, she ended up jumping in the lake anyway. He must have saved her. But I can't paint at home, so I'm hoping they, let, or they can let it slide. Your mom hates art, right? Yeah. I don't know exactly why, but mom gets really angry when I paint. So I have to paint outside, in secret. Yeah. It's that scary. That seems so strange, since you're pretty good, Ayato. Oh, she gave us the name right there. It's Ayato. Art is nice. You can create any world you imagine on a white canvas without really keeping you down. Or without reality keeping you down. I'm sorry, I'm having some uh, reading issues today, guys. Things that aren't real or that are gone now, they can all live within the art. Was he the painter soul? Was he the 
like, black painter guy there who just disappeared in a blood spot? I wonder. I had an older sister, you know. Had? Yeah. Not anymore. I guess it was seven years ago now. A girl's body was found in Mirror Lake. Oh, that's a creepy coincidence. They concluded it was murder from the state of the body, but never did catch any criminal. That's sad. And? Yes. That girl was my sister. And the day I met you at Mirror Lake was the day of her death. So after visiting her grave, I went to the lake. So that was it. And so, well, how do I put this? A girl there all alone, who in my mind reminded me so much of my sister, I had to call out. Huh? You mean me? Yeah. Apparently my sister used to stare in a mirror lake from time to time. You both have similar blunt attitude and never smile as if nothing amuses you. Feels like you're insulting me. <laughs> Look, it's true. So, actually, I have a request, Mashiro. I'll get straight to the point. Will you model for me? Model? For a painting? Yeah, I want to preserve the traces of my sister I can see in you in a painting. That's a little weird, man. It'd be great if you could give me a nice smile, too. Not a chance. <laughs> I thought so. Well, I won't ask you to just sit there. It's fine if you just let me consult your face while I draw. I guess that's fine. Thanks. It'll really help. I'm sure it's fate that I met you. My sister in my memory, and you right now, I want to paint those two things together. Do you want... Er, do what you want. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Oh, okay, so now we can move again. I got his canvas. There's nothing on it yet. Bottles of an unfamiliar substance. Are these for painting? Nothing there. Lined with photo albums and books of paintings. Ayato's treasured collection. Interesting. Art supplies fill the wooden box. Hey, here's that teddy bear again. Oh, that? It's sort of a memento of my sister. I don't genuinely like stuffed animals, so you should give it some love, Mashiro. I wonder if, because we're seeing that also in the dream realm, or the dead realm, whatever it is that we're in, if she's actually his sister after all, and maybe she just forgot and has amnesia or something? I don't know. Like, I... I don't know what this all means. Won't you try painting, Mashiro? Shiro, like a white canvas. It's a wonderful name. I hate it. It makes it sound more like there's nothing to me. <laughs> I see. You really do have my sister's personality. And he's like trying to be kind and not shock her at the fact that she actually has amnesia and is his sister, I wonder. The drab shelves are full of art supplies and materials. He's just using the shelves from the shack, it seems. Alright, same thing there. Alright, I see. What's going on here? Can we leave? This is the door. Doesn't seem like we can leave. What's this? A fire extinguisher. It seems pretty old. Alright. Is there anything I can do with it? The deteriorated fire extinguisher is at risk of exploding. It's very dangerous. So it's like the knife, guys. I had a feeling it was going to be like the knife where you had to use it twice and then you were able to stab yourself in the first one. Uh, yeah. Okay. If it explodes, it'll impact your face. It's really very dangerous. Man, that's effed up. Once again, guys, for those of you who are, you know, easily triggered by this kind of stuff, this game does heavily deal with suicide, uh, taking your own life. So please, please uh, feel free to shut off the video if you feel like this is something that's going to bug you. The old fire extinguisher exploded, directly impacting Mashira's face. Oof. Ah, that's brutal. That's not good. Oh, I forgot about those. The shattering mirror effect. <laughs> Cool. And by cool, I mean not that cool at all. That's not awesome to see every time. But we did break another mirror, so we should be getting our memories back, I believe. Mashiro came to again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt her bones broken from the explosion, there wasn't even a scratch on her face. That's so weird. Yes. After a meeting at Mirror Lake, Ayato and I occasionally met. And that day, at his secret base, I heard about his sister and became his model. This person, Ayato, had a great significance to me. Hmm. Like I said, I wonder if it's actually her brother. Just as Mashiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. That's weird. I wonder what that message means, because that keeps repeating over and over again. But with that, guys, I'm actually going to save the game there. 
Uh, I believe that we made a decent amount of progress this episode, and good God, we got enough jump scares to last us. Well, last me at least forever, but I'm going to try to keep up with this game. I'll put up more episodes of it very shortly as opposed to ever, like just once a month. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video in favor of it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Sir, please.